Who is the next witness? Uh, Eric Williams. Okay, back again with the rest of day three. We've got one more witness, and like I said last time, the audio for day three is garbage. So I hope you're good at reading lips, because you can't hear the witness at all. But after a few minutes, the drunken sound guy did eventually get back on track. Mr. Williams, uh, please come forward. Please face the clerk, raise your right hand, she will administer the oath. Do you swear that the testimony you are about to give in this matter shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth and the truth? Please have a seat in the witness chair. It's just messed up. Your Honor, I need one second here. I'm having a computer malfunction. Sorry. All right, sir, can you state your name? Sir, um, What town do you live in? How old are you? Did you, were you part of a group of uh, folks that were tubing down the river, the Apple River, uh, near Somerset back on July 30th, 2022? Uh, was part of that group, did that include Nicol Nikolai Mew? Did you know Mr. Mew? Uh, how did you get invited to their, their tubing party? Co-workers. All right. Um, did you know all the folks that were in the group? Yeah. Oh, is Mr. Mew a co-worker of yours? No. Was he the only person that wasn't a co-worker of yours? No. Right. Had you ever spent any time with them before that day? No. Um, <clears throat> at some point, as you're, as you're going down the river, um, did one of your party lose a phone? Yes. Do you remember who that was? No, I don't. Um, was there some, any concern by the person who lost the, the phone? Objection. No foundation. Sustained. Did you hear the person who lost the phone make any comments about that? Objection, no foundation. Sustained. Is your tubing, your group of tubes, are they connected together? Yes. With rope? Yes. Uh, did you, how many tubes did you have, if you remember? About eight. All right. Um, were you able, as you were going down the, the river that day, to converse with the other folks in your party? Um, once the phone was lost, did you were you able to hear um, the conversation about the phone being lost? Yes. All right. Did uh, Mr. Mew at some point indicate that he wanted to go look for the phone? Yes. Did you see him do that? Yes. All right. At some point, well, first, did you see where he went? Yeah. Where did he go? He went down the river, boat. I don't know how far it was. It's, it's quite. It's quite. Probably good. I have, uh, I'll say about 20 yards, 30 yards. All right. Did he, was he, did you see him near any other groups? No. Eventually, did you realize that um, he was getting close to a group? All right. Well, and be, you're, you're getting ahead of me, uh, Mr. Williams. So when you saw him go off to look for the phone, uh, was he wearing snorkeling gear? Yeah. All right. Um, did you have some concern about that? Objection. Irrelevant. Sustained. Did you have a conversation with the police um, after this matter occurred um, on August 3rd of 2022? Yes. And was that, was that your home in Inver Grove Heights? Right. Yes. <clears throat> and do you remember telling the police that you had some concern? Objection. Leading and <sighs> irrelevant. Sustained. I, I don't understand why his concern is our concern today. So that's why it's not relevant. And it is a leading question. Judge, can we, can we approach? Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Smith. Um, Mr. Williams, if I showed you a transcript of your conversation with Investigator Sheppy from August 3rd of 2022, would that help you refresh your mind with, with regard to your memory, with regard to any concerns you had that day? Objection. He never said his memory is not refreshed. He's not been asked the question because the previous. Did you have any concerns that day? 
with Mr. Mew getting in his snorkeling gear and snorkeling down by these other groups. Yes, it is. All right. And if you remember telling the officer what your concern was? That people was going to think that he was up to no good as a predator or whatever. That's, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. So I believe he said that his concern was that he didn't want people thinking that Mr. Mew is some kind of predator. As you were keeping an eye on him, did you see him um, talking to a, two women? No. Uh, did you see anything that may have happened between him and the, the two women? No. Um, did you see him involved in a fight with anybody? Well, I did look away for a second, and when I looked back, we did see a brawl in the water where me and Nesto start rushing towards him to help him out and we'll break it up. All right, when you, when you saw that, was, was Mr. Mew in the water already? Yeah. All right. Um, was one of the groups that he was snorkeling near, did you see what, was, what the age was of the, the, the folks in that group? And who was snorkeling with? Sit, sit, ask me a question. When he was there? snorkeling downriver from where your group was, huh? were you able to determine the ages of any of the people downriver that he was snorkeling by? No. All right. Do you remember having a conversation with uh, Investigator Williams, or pardon me, Investigator Sheppy about that? I might have. I don't. I don't remember. All right. If I showed you the transcript, would that refresh your memory? This one. Page. I got approached, Coach. Yes. Have you noticed that Schmiestad's suit jacket is kind of like a comforter for a king-sized bed? But Mr. Anderson's suit jacket is more like that guy in a little coat. That guy in a little coat. Does that refresh your memory? Yeah. Uh, what, what, what did you tell the police you thought the age of the boys were? Skip, say that again. What did you think the ages of the people were in the tubes down river? 17 to 20. <clears throat> Is that what you told the police? Could be, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I forgot to ask you. Just, oh, strike that. When you first saw the physical altercation occur, did you what did you think was happening? I don't know. We just rushed down and helped him out, you know? All right. Did, did you have a belief that Mr. Mew wasn't involved in the fight at first? Seeing people on him, so he had to be involved. Is it fair to say it's been, I don't know, Almost two years since you talked to the investigators back on August 3rd of 2022. Yep. You may not remember exactly everything you told them. It's possible. Um, do you have a memory of telling them uh, what you thought was happening in the fight before realizing that Mr. Mew was involved in it? Yes. What did you tell them? I think I may have told them that I was concerned about the young kids being intoxicated. We didn't want to stop by them. We want to stay far away from them as possible, but the, you know, the pedophile thing. That's 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 why I watched. I didn't want you know. I didn't want that. You know, that's sure. possible. I could have told them. I didn't want to think you know, anyone to think that he was up to no good. Sure. He's looking for a phone. Did you see Mr. Mew uh, injuring anybody? Um, by the time you got down to him, was he already up on his feet and heading back? Yes. Did you see any injuries on him? No. He wasn't bleeding? I didn't see anything. Um, at some point, did you realize that there had been some folks uh, that were injured in the river? Yes. Folks that were injured in the river in the spot where he was involved in the altercation? Laying along the side of the river, yes. Um, as you walked up to Mr. Mew, did he say anything to you as he came up to you? No. Did he ever say anything to you about what happened? Never, we, we never spoke after that again. We were, after that, we all was, everything was just quiet. How serious were the injuries of the folks that you saw injured? Objection beyond his, his opinion, I guess. Sustained. What did you see? 
Oh, pardon me. What did you see as far as the injuries of the folks in the river? Bad. <laughs> did you call 911? Yes, I did. Did you call 911 more than once? Probably about two or three times, but I'm not sure. Why did you do that? Concerned about the people on the edge, uh, laying, on, laying on the bank of the river. Did you attempt to give other assistance? No, I just went and met paramedics at the river, met the bridge, and kind of walked them back where everybody were, you know. Uh, with those paramedics, were there some law enforcement folks too? Enforcement folks too? The poor guy. I know exactly how he feels. Schmiestad makes me feel the same way. Um, yes, it were. And I think if I understand what you're saying, you sort of directed them to where these injured people were? Yes. Anybody else from your group do that? No. You're the only, folk, only person from your group that, that came over to help? I think so, yeah. At some point, did you end up walking back to your group? Yes. Um, did anybody say anything to you about what you, what you saw? No. Anybody ask any questions? No. Did you eventually float away? Got on tube and we didn't listen to no music. We just floated and just ready to get off the river at that time. We didn't want to be there no more. Was there any kind of conversation as you're floating down the river? Never, no. Uh, at some point, uh, did the officers think that you had some videos on your phone of what had happened? Had you taken some videos that day? Yeah, I took videos, just our party together. Right. And when we stopped, we you know, took videos of each other, not of the, that's about it. You didn't have any videos of this actual incident? No, no. Mm -mm. you know how long your crew uh, stayed uh, in that area before floating down the river to the end? Mm. Could have been about 15 minutes. How long did it take you to reach the end uh, of the, the trip from where this incident happened? Probably about another half an hour, um, 20 minutes to half an hour. What did you do once you got to the end? Turn that tubes in and just prepare to go back to our cars, get on the bus and go back to our cars. All right. Um, at some point, did was there more contact with law enforcement at the end? Yes. Did you witness that? Yes. All right. Nothing else? Mr. Nelson? Uh, Will or Vaughn Williams? I've seen it written both ways. <coughs> Williams. Yeah, I, well, it's Eric Vaughn Williams, yeah. So your middle name's Vaughn, but your last yeah. name's Williams? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you. Um, so, Mr. Williams, I'm Aaron Nelson. I represent Mr. Mew. I want to ask you some questions, too, okay? Yeah. You were with Nick that day, right? Right. Um, there's been some pictures of your uh, party of 10 people or so mm -hmm. on the river. Have you seen any of those photos from that day? Yeah. You see yourself in that picture? Oh yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. And mm -hmm. next to you is, is Nick Mew, correct? Yep. And in that photo you see him wearing sunglasses, is that right? Yes. Do you remember that day? Did he have sunglasses on most of the time? Yes. Were there times that you saw him uh, you said he saw him with a snorkel and goggles, right? Yes. And he certainly went up to look for the phone, and I'm going to get to that. Yes. But prior to looking for the phone, had you seen him resting in the river or using his snorkel and the goggles any time in the river? No. You didn't see that? No. Okay. Had you seen him at times without his sunglasses on during that trip? No. And then here's a, a photo 110. You see Mr. Mew with a hat on? Mm-hmm. Said yes. Yes, yes. That's all right. Um, were there times that day that you saw him with a hat on? Not sure. With the hat on? Yes. I'm not sure. I can't, oh. I can't remember. I'll be honest, I can't remember. Okay. Do you remember whether it was, do you remember not having the hat on or having the hat on or you're unsure about either? I'm not sure about either. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> Showing you what's been marked as Exhibit 111. Does that appear to be another photo of your group? Yep, yes. Move for the admission uh, to 111. Any objection? No. 111 is received. Um, and you see Mr. Mew uh, in that photo there, he's got sunglasses and the hat on, correct? Yes, I do. Mm. All right. You're not in that photo? No. Is that right? No. Okay. So sometimes people would wander off from the group maybe and 
do something else? Yes. Or you're just perhaps just not in that photo. You might be just behind the person or taking a picture. I can't remember. Okay. In all of those pictures we saw, Mr. Mew had a shirt on. Is that right? Right. Do you, and then uh, I believe when he went to, with his snorkel to look for the phone, do you remember, was his shirt on or was his shirt off? I can't remember. Did you have a shirt that day? Yes. Did you sometimes take your shirt off? No. Okay. You kept it on the whole time? Um, did you snorkel at all? No. <laughs> did you get in the water and swim? No. Okay. Um, w there was your group of people was generally people my age, your age? Right. Yes. Okay. Um, some people were having a couple of beers? Yeah, yes. Did you observe, were you intoxicated? No, no. Did you observe anybody in your group that you thought was intoxicated? No. Did you, were you worried about anyone being loud or obnoxious or rowdy or anything along those lines? No, no. You'd said that you had, I think, and I want to really make sure we get this, you know, you were concerned people were going to think he was up to no good, that he was a predator. You said that, right? Yes. I want to really get into that, okay, a little bit? Mm -hmm. That's a, something that you had in your own mind, right? Yes? Yes, yes. And that's a concern that you had when you learned he was going to go snorkel down the river, correct? Right. You, you didn't think he was up to no good, agreed? No, no. You agree? I agree, I agree. You didn't think he was a predator, you agree? I agree. You had no reason to believe, based upon what you had seen him do that day, that he was preying on little girls? No. Right? You agree with that? I agree with that. And... But you, like a lot of us, are able to kind of think about what are other people going to think, right? Exactly. Yes. And I would imagine on the river that day, you saw other groups of people, right? Yes. And some of those other groups of people appeared to be intoxicated? Yes. And some of those, you said young people, right? Yep. yep. Yes. And you look about my age, like, how old does somebody need to be to not be considered young by you? How, you said how old? Yeah. So when you say young people, do you mean like littles or do you just mean like 25 and under? Teenagers and 25 and under 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So it's not like they're young, young. No. So the people that you saw on there, you saw some people in this age group and teenagers, 20-somethings that were intoxicated, correct? Yes. And based upon your observations, you were kind of worried about some of those people, right? Yes. Based upon your life experiences, you know a group of drunk young men might not be people you want to be around, correct? Yes. And that was a concern that you had, right? That's a concern we all had. Sure. Mm -hmm. And that uh, you're like, look, drunk young people, when they get together, bad things can happen sometimes, right? Right. And that's why you were trying to be kind of more conservative, like, let's just stay together here. Let's not mix ourselves up with these drunk young people that might be dangerous. We had to make an agreement not to stop by young people, get, you know, stop a little farther down the river. And why were, you, why, why were you, personally, all you can talk about is you, why were you concerned about not stopping by young people? Intoxication. Okay, and why were you worried about young people that were intoxicated? Do they cause problems sometimes? They could. It's a possibility, but I... See Do they have conflicts sometimes? It could be conflicts. All right. Do they sometimes... Are you uh, concerned about their decision-making when they're intoxicated and in a group of young men? I was just worried about what Nick was doing looking for a phone. I didn't want anybody to think sure. he was up to no good. And if there were non-intoxicated people, you wouldn't be worried about that, correct? I'd still be worried about that. What was that? I, I would still be worried about that. But you were more worried because they were intoxicated. Right. And I imagine you were more worried because there's more of them, correct? Object, Your Honor. Sustained. I think you'd said before, we were out there with his wife and these young guys, they're quick to test us. That's what you told the police, right? I think you're talking in general, not that day, but in general, did you feel as if sometimes young men 
as a group are quick to test you older men. Well, yeah, I do remember that conversation that they, uh, you, you did they say that. Talk to me. Yeah. Yes. And that's because you're, in your life experience, sometimes young men get a kick out of challenging perhaps an older guy, right? Objection, Your Honor, relevant. Overruled. Can I answer if you are able to? Yeah, I, yeah, I ran into it a couple of times, so yeah. yes. And that's, why, and that's why you were concerned, yeah. right? When you saw, you saw Nick come back, is that right? Yes. Um, Fair to say he was quiet. It's quiet. Nesto, guy Nesto grabbed Nick and walked him back. And I kept going forward. Okay, so your interaction with Nick there on the river was very brief, right? At that, at, at Nick, well, with everything that went down, me and Nick didn't talk. At the, at the you know. I'm just, it sounds like you're walking in this direction towards Nick. Mm -hmm. And then Ernesto gets there first, is that right? Right. And then Ernesto grabs Nick and helps Nick get back to the group in some manner, right? Yes. You don't know because you're not looking at him, right? No. Oh. Because you continue on in that direction to go down to see what all the yelling and the screaming is about, correct? Yes. No. And at some point, 15 minutes or so, you eventually go back to the group where Nick is, correct? Yes. And at that point, Nick is sitting there quietly, correct? Yes. You don't hear him say anything, agreed? No. Do you make observations of his person? Yes. He appears to be somber? Yes? Quiet, yes. Have you heard the expression, white as a ghost, before? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, I did. Did he have that look about him? He had a look, you know. He had, I just say he had a look, you know. Yes, he did. Have you seen people when they're in shock before? No, I personally, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you know what that looked like if you saw it? <coughs> Probably would. Yeah. You look like he was in shock. Object, Your Honor. That's all Sustained. Wait for the next question. That's all. Mr. Smith, add anything else? Thank you, Mr. Williams. You may step down. Thank you. Uh, please see the witness coordinator on your way out, and she'll give you further instructions. Well, that certainly wasn't bad at all, other than the audio, of course. And apparently this guy had never even met Nick Mew before that day. And it's a little hard to tell, but I think he sees this as self-defense as well. But we learned that Nick was definitely looking for a phone, and that the kids were just as unruly as we all thought they were. We also learned that Mew was quite distraught over this situation, which I had pretty much assumed anyway. But all the dude bros and the scumbags actually believed that Mew went tubing on the river that day just to murder someone, which I think is just completely ludicrous. But that's the end of day three. In the next video, I'll be starting day four. But a quick heads up, it may or may not take a day or two for me to get the first video for day four up. I've got some business to attend to. And as soon as I'm finished with that, the beginning of day four will be right around the corner. I'll see you soon. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. Wow, you smell just like cocaine.